Hey guys, it's Julie. So I have a ton of errands to run today and I figured I'd just take y'all along with me since y'all enjoyed it so much last time. Um, first stop is going to be a thrift store. I totally forgot to stop at this thrift store last week and I have a bunch of stuff to donate. We went through my oldest son's room, got rid of a bunch of stuff. As I was picking up my Christmas decorations in the attic, I was taking stuff down that I didn't want anymore. And I might have to go to a car wash. Look how dirty my car is. Y'all don't look at that. <laughs> um, and the thrift store we're going to, I'm going to donate over there. I'm going to go shopping, of course. And that's the one that I got to go shopping all by myself when it was closed. If y'all have not seen that video, I'll put it in the description below. I totally like geek out. I'm so excited. I get to go to this thrift store by myself. I know. Weird. Um, so anyway, I'm bringing a thank you note to let them know how appreciative I was of that. I know I'm not a good Southern girl. I'm like bringing this thank you note way too late, but you know what? Better late than never. So got a cute little thank you note for them and we'll shop. And then I got to go pick up some wood. So I got to get this stuff out of my car because my fence guy called me. He sent me pictures. He has like the wood that I love. So I'm going to go get that. And what else? Oh, so my friend Grace opened, uh, it's called The Market by Southern Grace um, in town. And it's all like local vendors, handmade stuff. Y'all, it was so hard to say no to being a vendor here because, oh, I just really wanted to be a part of this. Like here's something super exciting for our town and it's been going great. She had a grand opening last Saturday. But I just had to be like, Julie, you just, you don't have time for this. Like, you cannot be a part of this. You don't have time for this. I had to say no. So I don't have a booth over there, but a lot of my friends do. So I want to go check it out. I am a huge supporter of all the local crafters around here. I'm always buying stuff from them and trying to share their stuff. You definitely want to support your local crafters and if people like I try to send people to them if people ask me to make something that I don't want to make or don't make I try to at least send them to somebody else that I know makes it so we all gotta help each other out so we're gonna go check out that place and then oh I gotta go to Walmart the big Walmart so like five minutes from my house it's a neighborhood Walmart then I gotta go over the bridge which sometimes feels like you know uh forever away to go to the big super walmart it's actually like probably 15 minutes from my house but it feels like forever so i need to go over there because i need a few things for my thrift flips next week which i am so excited about these projects i got coming up next week um a few of them are for myself which makes it so much more exciting um so i gotta go to walmart get that and then when i come back home i have a little haul video for y'all because i went to a thrift store um earlier in the week where i was basically tortured we will get into that later you know i got a story for y'all so once we're done running all the errands we'll come back home and i'll do like a little haul video for y'all so let's go to the store they had quite a few pieces of furniture here today i thought this piece was really pretty if you were looking for something like this it was 150 dollars and they had some bottles, little knickknacks, things like that. And then I saw this little floor poof. I thought this would look great in my outside kitchen, but it was $15. So it was just like a little bit too much for me. So I'll pass on that, but really cute. A little bit of greenery. Those are kind of cute. Oh, okay. And then I saw these floral prints. I kept looking at them and looking at them i think they would look so good in my house like i love them so i don't know i kept going back and forth on these if i should get them or not they were really pretty definitely my style oh look the little ironing board still here i didn't pick it up this time i'm over it i didn't get it <laughs> i love this piece it's already sold but it's so Pretty. like the wood color is perfect and I love these legs I wish all furniture had legs like this so cute y'all look at this little teapot with the little teapot on the top isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen well that was super fun I ended up running into two of my friends on the way out so we like chit chatted for a little while and you know when you stay at home all day by yourself it's like super nice and uplifting when you 
run into friends and can have like a nice little chat. And then the owner was there, so I gave her the little thank you note. And of course she was very appreciative. She's like, come in the back and see what I got. I'm like, okay, you ain't gotta tell me twice. So I picked up some stuff that was in the back. I got some stuff in the front. Uh, all in all, I'm excited for what I got. So I'm gonna show y'all like the kind of boring stuff first and then we'll get to the antiques. Um, so the baby doesn't watch Mickey Mouse, but she does know who Mickey Mouse is. So I got her this little Mickey Mouse doll, which I think she'll be very excited about. And then look at this pretty cardigan from Ann Taylor. Look at the sleeves on this. So cute. So I picked this up for myself. I didn't really look through the clothes, but I kind of looked through the jackets and cardigans real quick because that's like fun and easy. And then I love this little olive trench coat with the gold details so cute all right i'm sitting in the parking lot i hope people aren't looking at me like i'm crazy today is just oh and look <laughs> she actually just gave it to me because it had paint on it i'm like look it looks like something i already own because it has paint on it because everything i own ends up getting paint on it so but i love this color it looks good on me um okay now for the fun stuff y'all this is my favorite it really needs to be cleaned up like it's really yucky but look how cute this is with all the dents in it you know somebody used this and love this look at the little handle love this might have to keep that one i don't know all right i'm trying not to make too much noise okay this is cute look at the rope handle all right question the, the silver isn't like really aged enough for me it's kind of shiny should i leave it as is or should I do the texture paint on it? What do y'all think? This is cute. She had all three of these pieces together. So I just went ahead and took all of them. Look at this. Okay, this I'm not doing nothing to, like, except clean it up. This is so perfect. So, like, I like this age better instead of, like, the shininess. Y'all see the difference? Um, But, God, this thing is so chunky and awesome, and it's a little bit dented up. I like that. I like the dents in it. This is so cute. So cute. Okay. And then, how cute is this going to be with some texture paint on it? So this side has two raised flowers. And then this side is flat, so you can put it either way, whatever you want it. But look how skinny it is. I love this. Like, if you just got a little decorative shelf, this is the perfect size. Who needs a big all-round picture? I love this little skinny picture. Then look at this one, y'all. I kind of love it how it is, but it does have a crack in it. So I feel like it will also look amazing with the textured paint. All these flowers are raised. So that would be really cute just to have like a more muted palette, but also have these flowers showing. And I, I love the, the shape of this one. I think it's so cute when it's like just a little bit of a different unexpected shape this little fat and chunky ch fat and chunky <laughs> like baby wren okay and then this was in the back apparently this is some like expensive antique it's halls kitchenware made in the usa and i love how this like just kind of goes on the side you know and look at that so I think this is per like I wouldn't paint this because apparently it's an antique um but I think it's perfect the way it is like it is the perfect colors for spring I love these little vintage details it, it's like trimmed with gold it's so beautiful if you transition into spring this will look great and then wait that's not it it's a set look at these salt and pepper shakers with little handles with the little vintage floral on the top <gasps> yo these are so cute i love it you know what wouldn't that be even cuter if it kind of went at an angle like the picture i should have designed these that would look cute if they went at a little angle but anyway i still really like these and then there's one more piece to it this which you could do it with or without a top because that would be cute with just some flowers in it but i really like this print on it i think the colors are good this is on trend so i think these will sell i think these are really cute and then i got the big prints because i know what she's gonna say but this would look so cute in my daughter's room the 10 year old i mean it is 
just would match so perfectly what she already got going on in there. I just couldn't leave them behind. I'm like, you know what? They're $10. It was $10 for both of them. I mean, $10 a piece. And I'm like, I'm just going to get them because if I don't, I'm not going to be able to quit thinking about it. And if we ended up, end up not using them in my house, I could sell them for like $20 a piece, probably no problem. Get my money back, make a little bit of profit, pass it on to somebody else. So yeah, I was like, mm, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and get these because I'm not passing them up. All right, so now that I got all my donations out the car and the back is clear, we're gonna go pick up some wood. So he makes a little pile for me when he redoes a fence and I just come pick up what I want and load it up in my car. So now I got my little workout for the day and let's head to Walmart. Oh my god, y'all, I think it's a sign. I'm gonna have a good day. Look at this parking spot I got. First one, right by the store. What? That never happens. All right, let's go see what we Y'all, look at all the beautiful spring floral they have out for one dollar. These are so cute. So this is the old lavender they had, but this is the new lavender they have this year. And look how much they have here. Y'all can't buy it all. There's too much, yay. These I also love. I use these a lot all year long. I love these pink flowers. And look at those baby's breath, those are cute. These are awesome. So much good floral, but they don't have the lamb's ear that I want, darn. They also have really great wreaths for a great price. Look, $12 are these beautiful wreaths. So if you're looking for wreaths to add into your booth, this is a great place to come. And you can still give your customers a great deal. Like you could sell these for $15, make a tiny profit, make your booth look good. So if you go to the craft section at Walmart, you'll see some of the paint pens I use. They do have a few Sharpie ones sometimes, but I usually just get them off of Amazon. Here's a gold one that I like. And then down here, they'll have all the painter's ones, which the black is sometimes hard to find. Let's see. I don't even think they have the one that I usually use, but this is the section that it would be in. And then if you're looking for Waverly chalk paint, it's usually down here with all the paint. Here's the antiquing wax that I normally use. And then if you want the Rust-Oleum brand stuff, that is always in the hardware section. So Waverly's in the craft section, Rust-Oleum's is in the um, hardware section. These are the sweatshirts I was telling y'all about in the last video. So I think I'm good. I don't think I need any more colors, but these are them, super cute. Okay, I don't know how people film themselves in stores because that was so super awkward. If I sound like a goober, it's because there was a ton of people in the store just like staring at me <laughs> filming. <laughs> and then like um, there was this guy when I was filming my car in the parking spot because that's like super exciting. I had to show y'all. I mean, you never get a parking spot in the front. He was just like, what the hell is this woman doing? Oh my God. But I really wanted to show y'all some of my favorite stuff in Walmart so you know exactly where to go and find it. And the only thing I got was this, um, it's the equivalent of great stuff, but they didn't have any great stuff. So hopefully this stuff works the same. I'm gonna be using this on one of my videos next week. Never done this before. We'll see how it works out. So y'all make sure y'all have your notifications on so y'all can see that and then it was on the same aisle as the spray paint and i realized i needed some more flat black spray paint rust-oleum my favorite brand of spray paint and yeah that was it oh i was i wanted to find either some tissue paper tissue paper or some napkins like in a vintage floral print for a project i'm doing next week but i didn't find it so i'm gonna hit amazon hopefully i can find something i like and get it in time i should have probably just did that from the beginning but i don't know I was thinking Walmart might have what I want. So yeah, that was a bummer. I'll have to just get on the internet and hopefully get it from Amazon. They used to be two day shipping, but not anymore. Like you never know when you're gonna get stuff. All right, let's head to the market. 
So it's called The Market by Southern Grace, and I'm going to put the link to their Facebook page in the description, and she'll have more info on all the vendors. All of these are local. I think a lot of them do ship as well. How cute is that little baby crochet thing? I really like these little prints right here. That's cute. Oh, look how Southern this is. Red beans and rice in an oyster shell. Adorable. You're going to see lots of oyster stuff here. They got some milk goat soap. I was trying to figure out what these are. I think they're little key ring sets. So they got some, you're going to see lots of Mardi Gras as well, because like I said, that's the next holiday around here is Mardi Gras. And even though we're not having parades, people are definitely still celebrating. Here's lots of homemade candles. I really like these taper candles. They're in some very beautiful colors. More Louisiana themed stuff. This looks like resin artwork. So she had some Louisiana stuff. She has some deers. She's got some little trays, a little gator, fleur de lis. Here's some jewelry. Oh, and some little baby bows. Look how cute. Ren won't wear bows anymore. Here's some Mardi Gras jewelry. Peace Candles, this brand is very popular around here. It is, like everything else around here is locally made, but this this uh, particular brand is very popular. Okay, Bougie Beads, I'm obsessed with her work. I have not seen her work before. It is very pretty. I told Grace to let me know when she drops off more stuff. I want to look at it first because I really liked her style, but I wanted some a little bit smaller earrings. Um, okay, I really like these. How cute is that? A little knot. So I'm going to be coming back and checking out her stuff because I really liked it. These are heartbeat designs. So on your sonogram, your baby's heartbeat, she takes it and she turns into artwork. So sweet. I like this little gold foil, Louisiana little Mardi Gras color crawfish earrings. You don't get any more Southern than that. <laughs> some more Mardi Gras earrings. They have some local photography. And then some oyster art, which is always popular. Okay, I love these. It's little driftwood that you put test tubes in and then you could put little, you know, pieces of greenery. I love that. I love that when people take Cajun stuff and just put like a refined twist on it because you know, if you've seen Cajun artwork, it can be pretty ugly, but I love the way she used this driftwood. I might have to go back and buy some of those. Those are really cute. And then they have one little booth with some signs and all. And then they also have a bakery here. So she got this stuff she just put out while I was here. We got some baguettes and then these are king cake bites so instead of buying a whole king cake if you just want a few bites you can come get this and these she literally just put these out y'all hot cinnamon rolls oh my god get in my belly oh this is my sweet friend courtney i actually bought a bunch of stuff from her when Ren was a baby she actually still uses these too her little noonie clips um she can put the baby's name on it she did some little bird ones for me those are so sweet and then some hand carved wood bowls those are classic all right guys as promised we're gonna do a little story time haul video so the other day i went to what is i think the smallest thrift store in the world but i love this place i used to go here all the time at least once a month if not twice a month it's very tiny it is only open from one o'clock to three o'clock on wednesdays um but the prices are so good and they just do the best they can with their space. They're all about getting stuff in and getting stuff out. It's so like all the clothes is hung up and nice and organized. All their smalls are all out and everything is just like the same price. They don't, they don't waste their time pricing items. They just put everything out like dresses are a dollar, shirts are 25 cents, shoes are a dollar. Like everything's insanely cheap. So I love this place. I haven't been here in about a year. 
it had been a really long time and I just had it in me that I wanted to go to this thrift store. So I get there and there's people waiting outside, which isn't unusual. The place is small. Sometimes you have to wait in line to get in and they don't let anybody in until it opens. But then it hits me. We're in like coronavirus times. They probably can only let so many people in at a time. So I get there, I get in line and I ask the girl in front of me, I'm like, you have to wait to get in. She's like, yeah, they only let so many people in at a time. So y'all, four people, four people, they were letting in at a time. I stood out there for 45 minutes knowing that there were people in there shopping, like had the whole place to themselves and I had to stand outside and wait. Had I known this, I probably would have never went. And they were having a bag sale. So it was fill a bag, not like a grocery bag, a garbage bag for $3. I got two bags, I paid $6 for all this stuff. So yeah, it was like, if you wanna torture me, make me stand outside of a thrift store while I know other people are in there shopping and I can't go in. Oh my God, y'all. Uh, I did not think I was going to have to wait 45 minutes. I really feel like they should have put a time limit on people since there was a good bit of people waiting in line. Y'all. But, but I found some good stuff. So I guess it was all worth it. There were two other thrift stores that opened up nearby since the last time I went. I was going to go to those two, but I didn't have time because they're only open from one to three and my kids get out of school at three. So by the time I got into the store and hurry up and shop, then it was time for me to go. I didn't even film because I didn't want to be rude. Like people were waiting in line. So I'm just like, went in, looked around, got out. Anyway, that is how I got tortured. <laughs> Cause to me, that was torture. <laughs> okay, look at these cute little baskets. These are so perfect for spring. I don't even need to do anything to them. You just stick some little greenery. If you have a little entryway with some hooks or some hooks anywhere, even in your bathroom or wherever, looks so cute on a little hook with some greenery. I like both these sizes. I feel like this is more of a shelf sitter and this is more of a hanger, but I probably sell them as a set because I feel like they kind of need to go together. Even if they don't go in the same space, you know, it'll tie in to different spaces in your house. And I got some books. So I have a bunch of books, but I ran out of the smaller size. So I like to like go from bigger to smaller on my book sets. And if you haven't seen the book sets that I make, I have a whole bunch of videos on it. So I'll try to link all the ones I find in the description below. So I just picked up a whole bunch of books for this size. Uh, this size, so I mean, for $3 for a bag, I was like, yes, let me get some books here. And this. I always pick up these little apothecary jars when I find them. They're so cute. I usually don't sell them because I ended up keeping them because I love them in bathrooms, kitchens, laundry rooms. They're just so cute. This is the perfect size for Q-tips. This is a Q-tip apothecary jar. That's what I have in my master bedroom. Okay, that's closed. Okay, this is why I'm doing this on the ground so I don't break nothing. So let me be careful. Okay, look what I found. Oh, shoot, I hope I didn't break none. Um, a lumbar pillow. So I wasn't planning on creating any more of those spring pillows, but I found this lumbar pillow. It's already the right size, so I'll just take the batting out and make a new cover for it. And that will be cute. I think if I which I if I make another one, I'm gonna sell it. I'm thinking like around $25 or $30 for those lumbar pillows because they are a nice size and they are like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, oh, y'all, I love those pillows so much. I love when I have something in my head and it just comes out like even better than I imagined. Oh, I love when that happens. And that's what happened with that pillow. Okay, I've been on the lookout for these. Look, and it has all like the pretty um, detail and all in it. So I'm for sure, you know, I'm gonna texture paint this. Like it's too shiny, too new looking. We're gonna make it look old, oh, with some flowers. And look, it got some, can y'all see the little holes in it? That's gonna be so cute because it's like the greenery is gonna kind of be poking through. I love this. Got some baskets. I've been looking for flat baskets because I'm so excited. 
all my customers are into making basket walls. Y'all know how I feel about baskets, but I am like having a hard time keeping flat baskets in stock because like one basket wall will take up a whole bunch of baskets. So I was excited to find these. Oh, this is for me, a whisk. <laughs> I thought this was really pretty, this candlestick. I love this detail right here. It is gold. Gold looks so good, paint it white in distress. So that's what's gonna happen to this piece. Paint it white, distress it, good to go. Okay, this, oh my God, y'all. This is for me. Look at this tiny little iron. It has an opening at the top. So in my laundry room, I'm gonna insert a video. I have one of these hanging on my wall with some lavender in it. And I have a little tea towel on it. Y'all, I was like so insanely excited when I saw this thing. So this has to go in my laundry room next to my thing. Oh my God. Okay. I'm way too excited about this, but it's so cute. I think this is caught up on something. I'm gonna try to get it out. It's out Maybe I should have unpacked these bags before the video. You know I'm not prepared. I just do whatever. Okay. This is a really nice tray. It is heavy, so it's not like a cheap light thin, uh, thin tin or whatever. It's, it's heavy and nice. And this will look really cute painted with all the details. I mean, the color is okay, but it does have rust on it, but not where it looks like cool. You know what I mean? So... I am probably gonna give this a paint job and it'll be super cute in somebody's bathroom or kitchen. I feel like this is more of a bathroom piece. And then you put your apothecary jars, maybe a little basket with some greenery. So cute. I just love when it has like these little ball details on the side. So cute. Um, okay, I don't have much left. Look what I found though. It's exciting if you've watched my thrift to treasure videos. You know exactly what I'm going to do with these. So it's a set of three little canisters. This is not raised, which is good news. So this is what it'll look like once it's all painted nice and flat. It has the lid and there's a set of three of them. So there's, this is the biggest one. Then the one I just showed you is the middle one. And then we got the smaller one. So cute. So what's probably going to happen to these is some texture paint. Probably like a little IOD crockery stamp. Y'all, they are going to look gorgeous. Actually, I would leave them as is if they wouldn't have the little gooses on it. Or ducks. Is that ducks or yeast? I don't know what it is. But it got to go. Got to go. They ain't the cute kind of vintage. So that's exciting. I think, um, oh wait, I got one more thing. They did have a ton of frames, but I thought this one was really pretty. Um, it's from Stein Mart and it was originally $55. It definitely, like you can tell when something's expensive. It definitely looked like something expensive. And I feel like this style is in, is very kind of like, Vintage, farmhouse, shabby chic. I like it just the way it is. It got little, little dots on the side. So cute. Love this. And then I did get some clothes. Um, I'm not really going to show you all of it. Oh my God. I feel like all sweaters should be made out of this stuff. This is exactly like the sweater I have on. It is perfect for around here because it doesn't get cold often, but we still want to be cute and wear sweaters. And this is like so soft and thin and I love this color. I was looking for like some brighter colors that would be good to wear while I was filming because I find like brighter colors look good. I love a short sleeve sweater. This is vintage. This is a Saks Fifth Avenue. It's actually 60% silk. But I'll, this is another thing I love for the South is a short sleeve sweater because we want to wear our sweaters. We want to be cute, but it's too hot. Like it's too hot to wear sweaters. This is, an, is another uh, vintage one. Ooh, this color looks good on camera. It's cropped because <laughs> it's old and it used to be cropped. But I figured 
for three dollars for a bag of clothes i could just get some stuff i liked and wear it to film a few times and then move along because i really don't care if i wear a lot of the same stuff when i'm filming but i don't want to wear the same thing every time like i just want some some cute stuff to put on that looks good on camera you know what i mean and then i got a bunch of stuff for the baby too this is cute a little sweater with some little hearts on it what else i got more hearts and stuff she can wear for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's a great place to get clothes because it usually is nice clothes. And um, you cannot beat $3 for a garbage bag. But even when they're not having the bag sale, it's still like really cheap. I want to say the kids' clothes are four pieces for a dollar, so 25 cents. 25 cents each, so super, super cheap. But I love like the mentality of that um thrift store because they just really like get stuff in get stuff out just move it along move it along move it along i feel like i've been to other thrift stores where they price their stuff so high and then they have so much stuff because it doesn't sell like nobody can even shop there because it's too much stuff so i just like the way the thrift store thrift stores i like the way the thrift store thinks and I like how they just get everything in and out. And every time I go, even if I go every week, I used to find new stuff. So it's my sweet little honey hole. And I'm so happy I took the time to go there, even though I had to wait 45 minutes to get in. So will I be going back over there? Probably not anytime soon. <laughs> if I do, I will get there 45 minutes early because if I have to wait 45 minutes, then I want to be the first person in line <laughs> you know what i mean but i probably won't go. like who has time for that not me it's fine other people can get this stuff all right so um that is the end of this video i do have like a little housekeeping stuff if y'all want to listen to that some changes that i'm going to be making to my channel so uh ever since my channel got monetized a few months ago i've definitely learned a few things about youtube they do really like consistency they like at least one video a week if not more so i have been doing my thrift to treasure videos i was doing four projects in each video and it was really becoming very stressful to film four projects in one day and edit the video not in one day all before the kids got home from school that was really difficult and i know you would be like well why don't you start like a week ahead and spend a whole week doing it okay I gotta be real with myself right here. It's not gonna happen. Like I am a procrastinator. I'm gonna wait till the last minute. I always end up filming everything the same day that I post it. So it's not gonna happen. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna continue to do those videos, but I'm only gonna do two projects. And these are for, it's for a few different reasons. First, it's gonna be more enjoyable because I won't be as rushed. I'll be able to do better quality filming. Like I feel like my filming has been a little bit subpar so I really want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing I don't want to feel as rushed and I also think it's going to make it easier for y'all to go back and find projects that y'all want to work on when there's only two pictures instead of four like you'll be able to say oh I want to go see how she did this specific thing and it'll be easier to find but I'm still going to give y'all four projects every week but I'm gonna do two um, videos. And also I'm changing the name. I don't even know how I came up with Thrift to Treasure. Like for some reason I just put that on the video and it stuck, but I wanna change it to Thrift Flips because I feel like that's a more search term. And it kind of, um, I feel like it defines a little bit better what I am actually doing. So we're gonna change the name to Thrift Flips. We're gonna do two projects in every video and we're gonna do two videos a week. So I'm hoping to have three videos for y'all every week. So two thrift flips and then whatever else that I'm working on. And I'm thinking like all the little things that I got today, I'm thinking about doing like something called quick thrift flips where I don't like film the whole process. It's basically just like before and after. So I'll show y'all what this looked like before. And then I'll show y'all what it looked like after and just talk about what I did to it instead of like 
having to film every little step because that really takes so much time. Like to do four projects for me in one day is nothing. Like I can do that in no time. But when you're talking about filming, it just takes a whole lot longer. So let me know what y'all think about that. If y'all want to just see just some quick, quick stuff where I just kind of explain and show y'all what um, I did to it instead of like each step. You know what I mean? Because that would be fun. Because I I flip all kind of stuff all week long, but I just don't show it all to y'all. But that's this will be a way that I could show it to y'all without taking the time it takes to film it. Y'all understand what I'm saying. All right, moving on. So that is it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I, I have to do two projects because it's, it's just gotten overwhelming doing four and I really want to step up the quality of my videos my personality and everything will be the same I just want the filming part to be a little bit better um yeah so I hope y'all have a wonderful day a wonderful weekend and if you love this sort of videos make sure you subscribe Make sure you hit the notification bell so it lets you know when I upload videos. And that is it. Thanks for watching and give this video a big.